Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of Addis S and C. Now this may not be the Christmas special, but we will be talking about a subject around Christmas, and that's basically the true meaning of Christmas. And Battlefront 2 for whatever sakes. Here's the intro. So guys, it's almost Christmas Day and I want to ask you all, what is the true meaning of Christmas? Let's start with you, Ian. Well, for me, the true meaning of Christmas is about, uh, I don't know, playing video games and, of course, seeing family, but I guess that's not the same for everyone when they are get older. Of course you see see family but it's not excited as it once was when you were, I don't know, younger or something. Yeah, that is true. Like, playing video games is really good. It is. And then also spending time with family is good but then also again, Christmas is Christmas but as people get older, people may find it less exciting like all oh, the hype around it is good it's not more like after all this tree doesn't look half bad but yeah good points to make we'll go on to some other stuff in a minute what about you Hannah well for me uh, it's been like how, how it is for the last couple of years like apart from defeating evil bad guys I guess spending time with family, doing a lot of shopping, getting a lot of money, you know, do that stuff that we do. True, true, you can just say girl if you want, but yeah, it can be about doing shopping like after all, that's one of the preparations of Christmas is buying other people um, presents if you're either going to do it online or goes to the shops. I recommend doing both because then you get to see two ways of it. And plus within this year, uh, some shops have actually shut down, like not just here in the UK but all around the world. So it's good to keep going to shops that basically that's telling them that, that oh, we still care about you. Okay, how about you Scott? Well for me Watching YouTube videos, watching that amazing Sainsbury's documentary that I know that they won't ever do another one like that again. Watching Christmas adverts, because even though people may not like adverts, they may want to switch off for them. Make an exception on that, or you're going to end up like someone who we'll hmm, talk about later. But that, I guess. The food and the presents and just, and if it snows, then that makes it more better for the month of December. Yeah, yeah, it is. Those adverts, those documentaries and films, it's all good. And one other thing, the Doctor Who special, which will not be on Christmas Day this year. Ah, uh, <laughs> look, we can talk more about that, but just to let you know, it's on New Year's Day. Eve, I cannot remember. But also, just want to fit this in a little bit. Remember Battlefront 2? Yeah, why? Uh, one year ago, on November 17th, the game came out. And yes, this is not, I'm not celebrating it just yet, but I will say this though. This was also the time when The Last Jedi came out, and also we got our first big patch of content. And this was the last time that two of the game companies that, all, that were worked on Battlefront 2 left. Who am I talking about? Critical um, and the people who made the campaign basically. But 
Overall, since then, things have improved. Things have gotten better. Pay to win is now gone, and it's been gone since March, but still, to this day, people do not understand about it. But again, why shouldn't it be? Like, we're getting a no December update within this month. And I will also say, if we get at the end of the month, then, then I'm going to question DICE and EA's work times. But overall, things have been good. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Merry Christmas.